Welcome back. You're watching Business Lunch and markets have recovered slight bit and in the green right now, both Sensex as well as Nifty, though flat to positive, I would say. But let's take a look at the COVID-19 numbers so far and active cases fall for the 10th consecutive day, which is also the second biggest single day fall of 23,100. 24. Meanwhile, the total cases have seen the lowest single day rise since August 18th and deaths have recorded the lowest single day rise since July 28th. The recovery rate is around 87% now. However, the total tests continue to be below 11 lakhs despite rising to 10.73 lakhs versus yesterday's number of 9.94 lakhs. Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra account for the maximum number of tests conducted so far, whereas Rajasthan, uh, JNK, Haryana, Punjab and Madhya Pradesh are states with the lowest number of tests which have been conducted. Now, as the hunt really for COVID vaccine continues, a setback has come from the U.S., where the study of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine has been paused due to an unexplained illness in one of their participants. Now, j and has emphasized that so-called adverse events are an expected part of a clinical study, and this comes after AstraZeneca and Oxford University's vaccine was put on hold earlier. Meanwhile, doctors at Delhi's Hindu Rao Hospital continue to protest uh, with regards to their salaries. The Delhi government has written to municipal corporations over the issue, asking the civic bodies to hand over the management to the Delhi government if they are unable to pay the salaries to the staff. All right, let's take it to some international news and some good news there. Apple shares jump in anticipation of the mega iPhone 13 launch event today. Now, the expectations are that this year's iPhone launch will really support 5G cellular network. And also remember that Apple had released its new design of Apple Watches last month and had really pushed iPhone launch till October. Now, CNBC's Arjun Kirpal gets us all the information on the new launch. A lot of hype, a lot of excitement around this advertise, uh, this uh, Apple event that it's advertised with the tagline high speed, likely a reference to 5G mobile network technology. And this is what we're expecting from the event. Four new iPhones, an iPhone mini, an iPhone uh, 12, iPhone 12 Pro and the highest and most expensive and Apple's largest ever, the iPhone 12 Pro Max clocking in at 6.7 inch screen. Now, some of the leaks so far have suggested a redesign of the iPhone, some flatter edges versus the more curved rectangular form we've seen over the past few years. A big expansion of the lineup as well with four iPhones, likely recognition from Apple that it needs to play at various price points as the market becomes more competitive. But but what the market is really going to be focusing on for this event is 5G. Which of these devices will be 5G enabled and which 5G specifications will they support as well? The other big concern going into this is how well developed are the 5G networks across the world, particularly in the US as well, and whether they're going to be big enough to really support real 5G applications at the moment and give consumers enough of an incentive to upgrade as well. One of the things Apple always does is at its events as well is the one more thing right at the end of the event where they perhaps tease something new, some of the other products and some of the uh, rumors so far have suggested that they could tease some high-end audio products, perhaps over it headphones on their own Apple branded headphones as well. So that's something to watch out for as well. But why you're seeing that huge share pop is just basically the pure excitement around this Morgan Stanley calling this the most significant iPhone event in years. And that's really because we see the last time Apple made such big changes was in 2014 with the iPhone 6. It released two new models. Uh, and at that time, it spurred a massive upgrade cycle, which analysts call, called a super cycle. And really, the market is hoping that Apple can repeat some of the successes seen a few years ago. And with that, we'll wind down on Business Lunch. Thanks very much for watching. Do stay tuned. The team of Midcap Radar takes you through the market action. Next.